Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is why does your foot change direction when you draw the number six? All right, so to do this experiment, you need to sit down in a chair, lift your right foot a few inches from the floor, then begin to move it in a clockwise direction. While you're doing this, use your right index finger and draw the number six in the air. Your foot will turn into an anti-clockwise direction and there's really nothing you can do about it. All right, before I tell you the science behind this, I'm gonna show you the view from behind where I'm doing a clockwise direction with my foot a few inches from the floor and I draw the number six, and no matter how hard I concentrate, it wants to stop or go the opposite direction. Here is Grace giving it a shot. It may, like, this is, it makes my hand go like that. And her foot goes the other way. My foot, it's hard. <laughs> I want to do like this. Like. There's her foot, she's concentrating. It's very, very hard. And it wants to go the other direction. Back the other way. All right, so, all right, here I am going to give it a shot straight forward, um, and I'm doing my right foot in a clockwise direction and drawing the number six. And no matter how hard I try, my foot either goes the other direction or stops every time. It's very frustrating because I should be able to do this. I can multitask. I can chew gum and walk at the same time, but I'm unable to do this. So what's happening here? The science behind this. So the left side of your brain, which controls the right side of your body, is responsible for rhythm and timing. So the left side of your brain cannot deal with operating two opposite movements at the same time. So it combines them together in a single motion, which hence makes your foot go either stop or go the other way with the six. So if you try it with your right foot and your left hand, you shouldn't have a problem. I also read online that this effect is partly due to the normal difference in height between our hand and foot. So it's in di difference with the conjunction of the gravity and the earth rotation uh, is enough to affect the body's highly sensitive limb rotation mechanisms. If you eliminate this, right, for instance, laying down on the ground, hold your leg up and your arm about the same height, your right foot will be unaffected. However, if you reverse the height and the distance of the position of your leg higher than your head, uh, then it won't work. I tried this. It does not work. I still could not get my foot to continue to go clockwise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to click thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So if you liked that video, there's also a video right there, right there, right there, right there, or you can watch all four of them. And there's a red subscribe button down there too, so go subscribe. Bye.